What's good, my HUD YouTube? This is Grizzly Samurai 71 here, bringing another video. Today, I'm bringing you a video on some more on some news for uh, Uchu Sentai Q Ranger. Now, Uchu Sentai Q Ranger obviously is the season that's coming out next year um, for Super Sentai. Obviously, um, Juoger is still going on. It's it, it has like probably another eight or nine episodes um, before it will be over. Uh, something like that. Uh, it's early to say exactly what their intentions are, but um, yeah, that will be the f 41st season of uh, the series. And so today they ended up revealing um, information finally that's pretty much assumed to be official of what the season um, is going to uh, be like uh, as far as like certain information goes. Not like anything super super detailed, but like weapons, what the the different members of the team are, and what their uh, you know uh, mech their mechs are, as well as what the name of the mech is, and and weapons and other things. So let's go through it, um, and I'm gonna read this to you guys because uh, I'm sure plenty of you want to know. <laughs> so because Bandai met and they discussed this, and it's already reviewed. So. There, as we know, the name is Q Ranger. Q people thought right away nine nine members of the team. Suppose uh, people originally thought planets. It's not planets. It's similar. It's like more like zodiac uh, constellations and all that kind of other stuff. So uh, it, it, yeah, it's a constellation ba a, a base season uh, nine constellations. So what they're doing is they have Shishi Red as the leader, obviously, and he's going to be uh, be having a lion at. He's gonna be a lion ranger, uh, so we have plenty of lions. Uh, we're gonna have Okami Blue, which is gonna be a wolf. So blue's wolf, red's lion. Uh, yellow is Kajiki Yellow, which is or, or Kajiki Yellow, which is swordfish. So we're gonna be yellow swordfish. Usually you think that'd be blue, but yellow. Don't ask me. Um, personally, I would say that's an interesting choice. Um, uh, green, there's going to be green, green is going to be a uh, chameleon, um, there's going to be, so chameleon green, and just to understand this now, there isn't any confirmation as to which colors represent which members of the team, they don't even have any, they, they've shown like one image supposedly that might just be a leaked image or might be something fake of Shishi Red, which looks bizarre, and I'll have an image up, might, might be right now, of what uh, Shishi Red looks like, which has like a weird hand thing, um, but it has a very weird design, and, and it's not a very clear image, so hopefully it looks better, and hopefully it's, and, and hopefully it looks interesting. I, I don't know yet, I don't know, it's too early to say. Uh, let's keep going. Um, Washi Pink is going to be an eagle, so, so Pink is going to be an eagle. Uh, Oishi Black is going to be Taurus, Taurus basically is a bull, um, so, so yeah, so that's probably going to be the core team, red, blue, yellow, green, wait, that doesn't sound right, okay, uh, I don't know, uh, possible, well, that's five, wait, one, two, three, four, five, maybe, I don't know, there might be five in the initial team, there might be six, black might be the sixth member, um, cause, uh, lion, uh, wolf, so red, blue, yellow, green, pink might be the initial team, or might be something else. Um, continuing on though, yeah, so I said black, uh, then they have, um, Sasori orange, which is gonna be Scorpio, Scorpio meaning scorpion, so it's gonna be an orange scorpion as the seventh member of the team. Uh, ten bin gold, which is going to be a Libra. Libra has a bunch of animals associated with it. It could be a monkey, possibly. I, I uh, it could also be like, um, like a ram or an oxen or something, like more like a ram or something like that. I don't really know for a fact. Um, I like I, I and personally, as far as zodiac symbols, I am a Libra, <laughs> so it's funny. Um, so and, and so that's gold. Uh, then there's Heb Hebit. Tsukai, uh, Ibitsuki, uh, Kai, uh, Silver. Please understand this now. I'm trying to pronounce these. I am not Japanese, so I do not know how to pronounce some of these. If you haven't figured it out already. Hibitsukai Silver. So Silver is going to be a serpent. 
uh, so snake basically. So that's gonna be cool to have a silver snake and like maybe a monkey as gold or something like that. Um, so nine members right there. Now personally, that's pretty cool to think that we're gonna have nine. Uh, obviously, that's the second most, uh, um, the second largest team we've ever had for a series. Obviously, the first being Kuro, uh, Oger, uh, which in America obviously just happened. Uh, with Power Ranger Dial Charge and all that, but uh, nine members. Um, now, for the gimmick, they're gonna ha they're gonna be using spears. Uh, you know, we've had shurikens, we've had um, cubes, we've had uh, a, you know, a, a char like uh, Judenshi. We, we we've had Ranger Keys. You, you, I mean, you get the point. We've had a lot. <laughs> uh, so, and they're referred to as Kiltama. So each hero is going to have their own that corresponds with their constellation. So like Shishi Kyotama, uh, you know, and so on and so forth, depending on which, uh, on which one it is. Um, but there's going to be other collectible ones like Kyojiri Kyotama, which is going to be a whale uh, on Kyotama. So it's a whale spear. Obviously, I'm guessing the spears are going to open up in some way, or maybe it's going to interact with a changer that will then allow it to open, or I don't really know. I mean, it's a spear, so I have to wonder how it's gonna work. I'm also curious if these spears are like big, or if the, or if these spears are like like little balls. You know, it could be really big. It could be very tiny. I don't know. Uh, then there's Kambikyu uh, Kyotama, which is gonna be a microscope. Interesting. Uh, Constellation space. So obviously that's where some of that's going for. I guess. Um, or Ryokan Kyotama, which is a hound, so like a dog. I guess. Uh, that's interesting. I'm curious as to how that's gonna work. Uh, Andromeda Kyotama. Andromeda is like a galaxy, a certain type of galaxy, I believe. I looked it up. I was curious about that. And then Persicious Kyotama is Breakthrough. Persicious is, is some Greek guy, I believe. Uh, I don't really know the, the exact details. I ended up looking it up for a second because I was like, what the heck is Persicious? And uh, so, so like, Greek guy of some sort, so kind of relates to like the constellations or whatever. Uh, interesting. <sighs> um, so that's pretty cool i guess um and then they repeat themselves a little bit now then they end up mentioning sidearms so weapons and stuff like that they're gonna have a size blaster uh size i mean size yeah size blaster size means constellation so constellation blaster um then they're gonna have a q sword so they're gonna have a sword q axe an axe and q spear spear so sword, axe, spear, and a blaster. That's pretty cool. That's a lot of weapons for, for each of them. Now, I'm curious if they're gonna have their own individual weapons. Doesn't sound like it. They might have co like colored versions of each. Don't know yet. It's still too early to say. Um, I'm just trying to see what else there is. Now, as far as the mechs go, um, they went on to explain how the mechs are gonna work. They're gonna be referred to as Voyagers. So they're gonna have like Shishi Voyager, Okami Voyager, Kaji uh, Ki Voyager, Chameleon Voyager, uh, Washi Voyager, Oishi Voyager, Sasori Voyager, Tenbin Voyager, Habitsuki Voyager, and then the first robot of the series is going to be called uh, Kurano. Uh, so Kuro, Kurano. Okay, yeah. So it's it's kind of cool. Um, I personally am a, a big fan of how uh, this sound. Voyagers makes sense. It makes sense since it's space based. Um, I like the fact that they are gonna have a bunch of weapons, um, which is good. Uh, you know, you you know a lot. Uh, recently, they've been doing a lot of things where they've been um, trying to make one weapon have two functionalities, like a gun and sword capability, like in Tokyo. Um, but like, if they're doing individual weapons and they do it well, I will not complain. Um, it's interesting that they're gonna give them all axes because axe like giving them an axe is very unusual uh you know usually you have one member of the team that gets an axe uh, a spear as well spears are very unusual especially if it's a spear where, the, where it's a throwing spear they might be using it more as a jabbing spear i don't know um that's what i would guess because a throwing spear is kind of a, a risky mm, tactic uh so i would guess that that would be more of a of a jabbing spear of some sort um or a launcher, I don't really know. Um, the sword's very typical, the blaster's very typical though. But uh, the axe is very unusual and the spear is very unusual. I'm curious if it's gonna have any connection to them. Also, since they're gonna have constellation blasters, does that mean that maybe the spears 
uh, like like you put the spears inside of the blasters and the blasters shoot out a special attack or that's how they power it or something else don't really know um, I'm pretty curious uh, this looks cool uh, the shishi red image that we've seen so far uh, very unclear uh, one thing to note is that typically around this time whether it be this weekend or next week we should probably expect the first trailer or even image of what the team is going to look like so we'll get to see that um, we might as well even see how the mech is going to look the initial mech uh, most likely showing the initial core five since more likely than not they're going to start that way although they might not uh, they could go th the route of having three members from the start i'm doubting they're going to go right away to nine uh, but I don't really know what their their method for this is, especially since it's going to be referred to as Q Ranger, and so they, they're going to want to emphasize nine. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how that's going to work out, also how the how the uh, story is going to unfold, and uh, what their bad uh, their bad guy is going to be, and what their reason for fighting is. I'm pretty curious myself. Uh, the season itself sounds pretty interesting. I, I just want to really see what they look like, more or less so, and see what their mech looks like, just to get a better sense of what my perspective of it is. Personally, I'm really excited, uh, I, like just from hearing this, and if it looks awesome, like I'm almost positive I'm gonna buy the initial mech, because like I, I always buy that as of lately. I mean, I bought Shark Engine, I bought, um, what was it, uh, Jewel King, so, I might get the initial mech. I might do what I did with Juoja, where I got the initial mech plus two, uh, two or three extra uh, individual mechs to go with it, and then stop for a while. Um, yeah, I don't know yet. Uh, I do want to see what they're gonna show off. I do want to see how much it's gonna cost. I don't know what their goals are. I hope that the spears are not gonna be something like ridiculously stupid. I hope that the design of the mech isn't gonna be. Uh, kind of a lazy look. I hope it looks good. Like I, I genuinely hope this season has a good feel to it. I do want to see how the changers are going to work. They they really didn't talk about that exactly. They explained that there's going to be a gimmick, which is the spears. But the, the spears could be gigantic, or the spears could be like a marble. I don't know. You see, that's the thing. I want to see what their intentions are with the gimmick. Um, I'm excited for this season overall, um, but I do want to. But obviously. I, until I really see images, I know that I saw. I know that I, I mentioned this this Ishi red image, but I feel like that image is, it, it might just be either fake or a really really poorly taken picture of the character, and hopefully there's a better image. Uh, still very early to say until we get a, an official image of the team. Uh, seeing how they are, what they look like, and all that. I can't really say anything, so please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and uh, Facebook. And until then, guys, see ya.